What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, we're back with brand new WWE action figure news for you guys. Been back at the helm for the news today, man. Should be a good day as we dive into it, but it's been really weird, man. It's been a weird time, especially for Mattel and WWE action figures, and of course, we're gonna get into the spill. We're gonna get into it and dive into all the different things, give you my thoughts on it, and you guys can let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below, what the hell's going on with it, and all the different things, man. But to start off, we do have just a couple few things here that I want to touch on in this news video, man. So let's shut the hell up buckle the hell up and get into what we got to get into today now the first thing that i want to get into guys is you guys know the faces of foley three pack we saw this back at san diego comic-con as you guys know it's the big three pack we got mick foley in there it is ringside exclusive it looks really good i mean it looks like a damn good pack of course i have my gripes with it as we always do and i'm gonna get into those gripes when we review this set but apparently this set is being delayed yes this is going to be a delayed set that is not going to be coming out when they thought it was going to be coming out now i do believe the original release of this was either October or November, but it has been revealed that it will be pushed back until January of 2024. Now, I don't think we have any, like, insight into this. I don't think there's, like, a specific reason. I don't think they gave any reasoning to it, at least at this juncture, unless I just missed it. And if I did miss it, I do apologize for that, but I don't think they've revealed that. I don't think it's been out there. I don't think it's widely known why the Three Faces of Foley is delayed at this moment, but it is going to be delayed. So if you guys put up that pre-order and you didn't see that, well, it is being delayed. So, it's not going to be coming when you thought it was, and it doesn't look like it's going to make it before Christmas at the time of recording this, so I guess you're going to have to uh, either, I, I don't know, I, that's up to you, man, whatever you want to do there, but the Faces of Foley 3-pack is delayed at this moment, and if we get any other further stuff on that, I definitely will be putting it up to you guys and letting you guys know exactly what is coming with that situation, but yeah, 3 Faces of Foley delayed, that sucks, I don't understand it, but maybe we'll get some clarity in the future. Now, another thing that kind of goes along with that and kind of hand-in-hand partners up with that is the Bruno Sammartino, the legend. Legends figure. You guys know that it's not only not only a Legends figure, it is the Greatest Hits Legends figure, which is sort of a two-in-one. You guys know that they're re-releasing Legends guys of previously done looks or figures of the character that we've seen in the past with Mattel WWE figures. Well, they're re-releasing those into the Target Legends line. So there's going to be a Legends line at Target as well as a Greatest Hits Legends line at Target, which is very interesting. You know, we've covered that on the channel. They talked about this. A lot of figures out there to buy now. It's going to be insane. I wonder if those guys are going to be hitting, you know, all the crazy clearance that we get out of the Legends figures already, but this Bruno San Martino apparently is being removed from this Legends wave, this Greatest Hits Legends wave that we're going to be getting. You guys know that we have different figures in there. We've seen them for a while. I think we saw them first out in London, like shortly before WrestleMania if I'm not mistaken. We saw them on display there, and then I think, I want to say, God, my mind's going crazy, but I want to say that's where we saw them firstly. It was like in that little Detolf cabinet or something like that, but the Bruno San Martino figure is being removed from that Legends Greatest Hits wave that's supposed to be Target exclusive, and it will be moved into the main Elite line, and that's going to be later down the line, so that's not, you know, immediate. That's going to be, I think, something that they try to plug in there, which kind of makes me believe this is going to be sort of an Ultimate Edition Macho Man Randy Savage situation where there's probably some sort of deal out there that kind of expired, or maybe they had to restructure something, and so that figure cannot be put out at this time. So, you know, when you dive into that, and you, you kind of do the comparison there, that's just what it seems like at least, but, you know, that figure did look pretty good. It's going to be a revamped, better version version of his Elite 25 figure that came with the podium and the Hall of Fame plaque, and it was a really good Bruno San Martino, the only Bruno San Martino Elite figure or figure we've gotten out of Mattel, and so we're getting the recolor of the trunks, it's got the double jointed arms, it's got some really good stuff going on with it, but that figure is also going to be delayed, I guess, because it's not going to be in this Legends Greatest Hits line, and that Legends Greatest Hits line should be hitting, I mean, that, that could be hitting any week now, I'd, I'd imagine within the next month or two, we should be getting that, definitely before Christmas, we'll be seeing this Greatest Hits Legends line, but that Bruno San Martino figure is going to be removed from the Legends Greatest Hits, and it is going to be moved into the main Elite line, but that wave has not been confirmed, or, you know, they don't, we don't know where that's going to be, but we do know that figure's coming, it's just not going to be immediately. It's going to be pushed down the line a little bit there, so if you guys were looking forward to that Bruno, I am sad to say that it is going to be a little bit delayed there. Just like the Three Faces of Foley, it is going to be joining in that company where we're not going to get it as soon as we thought we were. Now, another thing that's actually a really big deal, now, Action Figure Attack actually hopped onto a live stream on YouTube. I think it was Fig Night, official Fig Night over there. I've been over there before. Really great show and stuff like that. Steve's went on there a bunch of times. He went on there and he actually has an update for us for the Hogan 3 pack. Now it's kind of weird because all a bunch of different packs are being missed, like used in this video and it's kind of crazy to get into but nonetheless I I'll kind of explain that as we go but the Hulk Hogan 3 pack as you guys know. The Hulk Hogan 3 pack that we saw back at San Diego Comic Con. You guys remember it had the beautiful packaging. It's got the three iterations of Hogan. It's got his new torso that we're going to be seeing in the Monday Night Wars line. The war You know the Walmart exclusive 
exclusive line. And now we're getting like this official Hogan torso that we've been waiting on. We don't like the skinny ripped up torso. We're getting, you know, an actual accurate, nice torso for our Hulk Hogan figures. Well, that figure, when we saw those figures back at San Diego Comic-Con, everybody was upset because the tan of the Hulk Hogan's was not the tan that we had been seeing on the Hulk Hogan figures. It was the kind of that old Ultimate Edition tan, the one we saw back in his like Hollywood Hulk Hogan Ultimate Edition. They were giving him that tan. They were giving him that tan that's not completely updated. It's, it's not the hot dog tan that they like to call it. They have actually updated that pack, and I do believe every figure in that pack is now going to have that. Now, we do have like kind of a screenshot of the live stream, and it doesn't look the best, right? It's not freaking 4K. It's not going to, you know, it's that we're going to get better images of this set, but it is confirmed that they are going to have all of the tan. Now, I don't think that was news. I'm pretty sure this was revealed there, and this was like a big thing that was shown off, so I do believe that I don't think this was previously known, unless you, uh, of course, have seen that over the past few days, but I did want to get on here and touch on it, because I thought it was really interesting news to have that Hulk Hogan 3 pack, have that revamp, because I think that really, really sets the tone for it, pun intended, and it really uh, kind of just finishes off the pack. I think that makes the pack a whole lot more worthwhile, and it's going to be a great pack. I can't wait for that set. I think it's going to be beautiful men on cart. I'm not even a massive Hulk Hogan guy, but Jesus, that's such a beautiful set. I might have to have one of those sets men on cart. Again, man, the box sets are great. Remind me of the Jax days. It's just a beautiful thing to see. So the Hulk Hogan tan is updated, and it does look great, at least from where I'm sitting in this chair, Brad. So I do want to get on here and talk about that. Now, the last thing that I wanted to get on here is talk about the Rocky Maya Via, or the family, the Maya Via 3 pack that we saw. You guys know that we have the freaking rock figure in the loafers, one of my favorite reveals from San Diego Comic-Con. We've talked about it a lot here on the channel. Well, we do have kind of a mock image of what the packaging is going to look like on this thing. And I do believe this figure set has been up for pre-order on Walmart.com. Now, I, I want to say it's been a week or two now. I never got on here and like talked about it because I'm not going to just post a video and say, this is up for pre-order. So that's more of like an IG thing or a Twitter thing. I might share some stuff there. So if you guys aren't following us on Instagram or Twitter, definitely need to go over there and do that because we put up different information and things of that nature. But the Mayavia, th the Mayavia Family 3 pack, the packaging looks pretty damn cool. Now, I do think this is just going to be a mock image. I don't think this is official or anything like that. But you guys know that we do have that LWO 5 pack coming. We do have the Three Faces of Foley 3 pack coming. We have the Hulk Hogan 3 pack coming. So lots of 3 packs, lots of different sets. And you guys know that we've seen these 3 packs over the past couple years, right? We got the Tribal Chief and Beast Incarnate. I know it wasn't like the last few years. It's like the within the last year we got that 3 pack. We saw the Raw Anniversary set. We saw the Then Now Forever Together set. So we have seen lots and lots of packs coming out as of late. And I do believe they're going to continue that trend of the packs. And I'm all for it because I think they look great. Back when we had the Epic Moment sets, I thought those were great as well. Packaging goes a long way. You could you could make it really creative and do a lot of crazy things with the packaging, so that's really great as well. But my Avia Family 3-pack looks really sweet. I like all the tribal stuff they have going on, the coloration, all the different things. But the Rock figure is the one I'm most looking forward to, but you know, the High Chief and the Rocky Johnson all also look very damn good, and I'm very, very excited to get into those figures. But I am so excited for the different figures, man. When you look at the images of these figures that are going to be coming out, they just look epic, man. I'm, I'm really, really excited to see exactly what we're going to be getting with these figures and things like that. And of course, we did see them back at San Diego Comic-Con and stuff like that, but those were early types, you know. And by early types, I do mean like prototypes. They weren't official just yet and stuff like that. So I think these figures are going to knock it out of the park and I'm going to have to be getting some loafer rock figures and I hope that, you know, maybe some slips through the cracks end up putting those things at TJ Maxx or freaking dirt cheap or something and I can rack up on the loafers for the rocks and different customs of the world. But I do believe that was our last little bit of news that we had today. So three faces of Foley delayed. We have the Bruno Legends figure being moved from the the Legends Greatest Hits line into the main Elite line later to be to be announced, you know. We had the Hogan Tan being updated, and we have the little image of the Hogan figure there that looks freaking fantastic. And then we do have the Maya Via Family 3-pack packaging that I wanted to dive into with you. But I do believe that's all the news that we have here, man. I do have some other stuff possibly coming in the next few days, and it should be very interesting nonetheless. I gotta get some surgery in here. We gotta get some more Halloween stuff out there. Nonetheless, man, that is gonna wrap up today's video. I hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what your thoughts are on all of this news down in the comments comment section below, but a huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Always love the support over there from those fellas. Always appreciate you guys so very much. If you guys are not doing so, follow us on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. That is going to wrap this video up, man. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I will catch you guys later.